Hi, in the last video I showed you how to create a subform for a booking and um, generate subtotals for each individual booking item and then have a total that added up all those subtotals. Now at some point it would be really useful for you to be able to print off a receipt for the customer uh, based on that information. And it would be really cool if you could just press a button and it would create a custom receipt. Well it's actually a really easy process. So this is how it looks. So this is my form. I press my preview report button and then it generates a, um, a receipt. Now if I zoom in, we can see that the receipt has information such as the booking date, the booking, uh, booking ID, customer's information and the things that they bought. It has a subtotal, it has a total here. Um, obviously you, you can make your receipt look a little bit more professional than mine. Um, but it's actually a really easy process and I'm going to show you how you do that. So you're going to have to start off by making a new query. Um, so you're going to want to go to create and query design. Add the information that you want. So um, we'll go booking, booking product and products. Whoops, don't need that one. So we'll get rid of that. Um, okay, then you add the information that you want to put into your um, into your report or your receipt. So I want all this information about the customer, don't need the email. I want the booking ID, the booking date. I want to know the product ID and the quantity. And I'm going to want to know the cost and the product name. Once I've got all that information in there, I'm just going to check that I've got all those things. Once I've got all that information in there, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is um, base the query on the actual form uh, that's open. So um, we're going to go to the booking ID and we're going to go to criteria and we're going to start off by using square brackets and we're going to go to forms. It's easy if you just double click on that. Then use excl exclamation mark and then we're going to go to the booking form. Um, exclamation mark again and then we're going to find the information we want so it's the booking ID. Now um, we save that and we're going to call it QRY, uh, we'll call it report booking. And our query has been saved. Now what we want to do is just test to make sure that works. So we're going to go into our booking table, go to the design view, and we're going to just add a little button. Um, and it's, that button is going to run that query. So we're going to go to miscellaneous, run query, next. We want the report booking next, and we'll just use the text run query next, and we can call it uh, CMD run, uh, we'll call it run report booking query finish. And we'll just test that. So view and run query, and hopefully it will bring up the information from our uh, particular booking. So this, in this case, it's booking one. Um, if we have, uh, well, I, don't, I haven't got any more bookings, but it's booking one. Um, so that works, so that's good. All right, we'll, we'll close that down. Yeah, we'll save that. And what we wanna do now is use um, the report wizard to generate a report based on the report booking uh, query. So again, we go create, and we're gonna to go to report wizard. Choose the correct query, so report booking, add all the fields and click next. And we're going to generate it based on the customer um, and click next. We don't need to do any sorting. That's all fine. Um, the You can choose the orientation if you want. Um, I'm going to stick to set, click next, and I'm going to call that um, RPT receipt. Okay, click finish. Uh, now I'm going to go straight into the modify the report design. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to move this stuff around. So I'm going to put the information about the booking up in um, to this uh, oops up into this top half first. So let's move this, and I'm going to move those two bits up there as well. Um, make sure it's all highlighted. It's a bit laggy on my computer, I have to say. Okay. 
Right, now I'm going to move those two things across. All right, so um, you'll notice that sometimes you get these little green um, boxes. It's basically saying this label has not been associated with the control, so we can fix that by going to associate label with control. This is the booking ID, so we're going to associate it with the booking ID. And do the same thing with the date, associate the label with the booking date. Okay, um, I'm also going to put information about the customer in this one as well. So I'm going to move this information, which is to do with the customer, up here. So we'll stick. Well, it's just very slow on my computer. I do apologize. Right, let's try again. Okay, that's that bit. Do the next one. Okay, we'll do them individually then. Okay, um, so that's the that's the last name, first name, and customer ID. Okay, so I've got that information in there now. Um, and what I'm going to do now is move this information. Um, well, I can get rid of this one, so I'm just going to hide that. Doesn't matter if that's there at the moment. Um, I'm going to move these things across. Uh, so I want the product ID first. So let's move those. Don't want the. Don't want that one. So move the product ID across. Right, and we can also get rid of that one there, so we'll hide that. Um, we're going to then do the product name. Then we're going to do the quantity. And then we're going to do the cost. Right, next step is to uh, calculate the subtotal. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick in a text fit box. And I'm going to click in here. Um, at the moment, it's unbound, so I'm going to call this. This is going to be called subtotal. Okay. Um, let's do that capital. Okay. So there's my subtotal. I'm going to cut that bit out and paste it into the top bit. Paste it into the page header. And we're going to move that over here. And it's currently unbound. That means we need to give it a control source. The control source in this case, we'll, we'll give it a name, we'll just call it my subtotal. Um, and the control source is going to be equal to the um, quantity, which is here, multiplied by the cost. We're going to click OK. Um, I'll format that control so it says currency. And what we're going to do is just quickly test this uh, work. So. Um, I know I've got a booking ID of one, so I'm just going to press one, and that's working. So that's totaling up the cost at the moment. Uh, we'll go back to um, the design view. Okay, um, and you can change like at the moment mine we've got boxes around it, you, like the border. You can get rid of those by just going to the uh, border style, setting that to transparent. In fact, I may as well just get rid of the uh, fill background at the moment as well, so we'll just set that to white for now. Um, okay, so we've got the subtotals working, now what we need to do is work out the total uh, of those. So I'm going to use the report footer, and this is a little bit counterintuitive. Um, the report footer is actually going to go under the detail, the page footer is going to go at the bottom of the page. These two things um, flip around. Basically, page footer um, appears at the end of each page, Report footer appears at the end of each report, but the report is only going to be one page, and this is where we want to put our subtotal, uh, well, our total, sorry, of the subtotal, so we're going to put, put the information in here. So now we're going to go add a new text box, click in here. This is going to be called our total, um, and the control source, we're going to give it a name, uh, so this will be total, and then this is going to be called, uh, for the control source, we're going to go equals, and we're going to go sum this time. And not like the forms where we um, summed our, what I call my subtotal, we're actually going to do a sum of the costs, uh, the quantity, 
times the cost. Okay. Um, if you do it in an, any other way, it won't work. You'll get an error. Um, so this time we're doing sum of the quantity times the cost. So we click OK. Um, change the format again to currency. We'll just test it quickly. We'll view it. Number one. Um, and you see it calculates the sum of those those things. Um, and basically that's that's your report. That's your receipt. Um, you can now format it. You can get rid of like these lines. Um, you know, put your logos on there. Change the titles. Move things around. But that's essentially it. Um, if we go back quickly to the design view, I'll just show you how you can get rid of those those lines. If you go into the detail um, in here, and then go to design. Um, oh, no, format. Sorry, alternate alternate co uh, row color. Just go to no color or choose whatever you want. Um, that's how you do that bit. Um, you then need to make sure in your um, we'll close this down. Let's hide that. We'll close that down. Save it. Go to your booking table, design view, add a button. Um, so we're going to go design, add the button. This time we're going to go to report operations, preview report, next. Then we're going to go, you choose that report that you just made next. I'll call it preview report. Give it a name, so CMD preview report. Finish. Move it where you want it. Test, um, test it out, so design view. Preview the report, and you should see it all works perfectly. And that's what we want. And that's it, that's how you make um, a report or a receipt for your database.